I, uh, we are now driving around neighborhoods here near Midlothian, uh, heading down through Robius. I want to give you a look at the roadways. We're back on one of these neighborhood streets uh, here off of Robius, and you can see that this one right here, I didn't see where we turned in Bonaire. This is old Bonaire Road, but you can get a good uh, feel for what it looks like right now. Crystal clear. A uh, little bit of patchy spots here or there, but um, that's going to be expected on these back roads like this. Now you can see that there is some snow pile and some buildup on the side of the roadways. That's obviously an issue as we're about to turn into this neighborhood street. We'll give you another look at why for tomorrow here in Chesterville County. You can see exactly where this is at. Uh, in this neighborhood street, a lot of icy patches, a lot of places that are uh, treacherous to travel on. So making sure that you are A, taking it very slow is important. Uh, making sure B, that you clear off the snow and ice that are on your uh, car is going to be even critically important as well. So just take it slow tomorrow. and uh, This is what you're going to be dealing with out on the roadways if you do have to get out and about. So again, people are urging you to stay at home if possible. Tracy, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jay. Good advice out there. Well, with the cold and icy conditions sticking around overnight, Virginia State Police want to remind you to keep a close eye on your animals. Troopers say they rescued this sweet little pup Sunday morning on Interstate 64 near the 210 mile marker. That's in New Kent. Well, as of 1030 this morning, she was at the New Kent Animal Control waiting for her family to come get her. Temperatures as cold as tonight's can be extremely dangerous for animals if they escape or they're left outside. Officials remind you to call your local animal control if you see an animal outdoors in these elements.